Hi, this is Lakshmi Kantiwari. In this tutorial, I am going to show you how you can test your CC2650 launch pad. So, here I am having my CC2650 launch pad. And uh, suppose that if you want to see out of box demo, so I am going to show you. Okay. So, here CC2650 and here is my mobile application. Mobile. And uh, you have a two option here. Right. So you have a two option. Either you can download the TI, uh, TI Android applications or the iOS application directly, or you can get any uh, BLE scanner. So I'm gonna first download the TI. Um, first, I'm gonna download the TI. Uh, it's, a, it's it's a Texas instrument, right? Let's see. No see here it is a simple link yes it's a simple link right so you can download it a simple link starter from your um, um, google play or from an app store and then of course i have to on my bluetooth and if you see here bluetooth smart device is not showing any device there are two region okay so the first uh, the device CC2650 is not advertising and another one suppose that uh, even if it is advertising and you are not able to see anything then you need to go into the settings and then you need to go into go into the uh, inst installed apps and then you have to get the Bluetooth right a Bluetooth share so get there a Bluetooth share okay so somewhere Bluetooth share and then here inside the Bluetooth share come into the storage. Now you have to clear the data. Otherwise sometimes what happens it do not recognize launch pad there into the application. Right. So let's uh, on it. Okay. So I'm going to uh, I'm going to connect its power. So now it's advertising. Now uh, if you can see here CC2650 launch pad with the MAC ID 98072D9AA507. Okay. So now let's click on this one. Okay. So I'm going to click on this uh, CC2650. Now it is discovering services. There are eight services with 24 characteristics. Okay. So now there are many options here. Either you can directly, um, yeah, you can directly uh, upload the data to the uh, cloud okay so the, you can push the cloud and for the cloud pushing the connection fail because I do not have here the internet connection as now now let me see if I can have a internet connection but don't worry I, I'll show you this is a very simple and if you have internet connections then uh, it will work for you right so I'm working behind the proxy so it may not connect with the behind the proxy but still let's see if it can connect so for that what you need to do um, let, let me connect my mobile once again it is disconnected okay so suppose that you want uh, uh, ibm watson iot click start okay so then what you can do uh, you can click on the first link and then it will lead to you uh, lead to you work quick start internet of things dot ibm dot cloud there you need to give uh, give the device address okay so you need to give the device id here so if you give device id here okay so let's give this device id uh, i accept oops of course i accept now let's give device id it's 9807 2d 9a 2d 9a sorry 2d 9a and uh, a507 a5 and 07 and then click on ok go so as you know the device is not connected that's why it is not uh, you know uh, getting anything here and uh, and for the connecting the device well, then what you need to do you can uh, go into the advance and if you see inside the advance then you can select what you want to connect with so the IoT quick start, so the device ID and uh, right. Okay. Fine. So now let's connect it. However, I am working behind the proxy. That's why it is not connecting. 
suppose that if you had a internet mobile internet so let me connect my mobile internet if it can connect anyway I'm not getting mobile internet in either way right so it will connect finally after that I would like to show you few more things uh, apart from that once it connects okay once it connects it will start showing you here the data upload right so as you may have seen my previous tutorial based on cc2650 sensor type it's a similar process and yes i think it has successfully uploaded the data here you can see here the event status my name and and cc2650 the last message was received at 112900001 pm right perfect so here you can see the data has started status key has been pressed one time right status key 2 has been pressed i i just press that key okay so i'm going to again press that key okay i'm going to press those key two three times i have just pressed okay right so so you can see here the key has been pressed and it's a showing it right so the data is uploading it's a very simple you can get all the data directly into your uh, IBM Watson IoT platform uh, in fact you can also get on the Google clouds or on the uh, Amazon AWS cloud in uh, our um, a due course I'll be also covering AWS and the Google cloud apart from that let me show you few more things here so you can see here it is showing that it's something like uploading to the cloud let me clear it one more time so, so that it can actually you know to get a clear wave okay right so it's uploading here data and here is the device information cc2650 launch pad and here is keys suppose that if i press any key status key 2 has been pressed right and the status key 1 has been pressed see there status key 1 2 right these are the status key okay so button 1 and the uh, and there is external power button uh, that's the button 2 right so apart from that you can also get here um, the connection control either with the low power or balance or with the high okay so it depends on you so this is all uh, available in the CC2650 the launch pad. Now I would like to show you few more things. So let's uh, let's close this CC2650. Now I am going to show you with the BLE scanner how you can control your LED etc with the BLE scanner. So you can also get this BLE scanner from the Google uh, Google then download it. So here it is available. CC2650 launch pad you can see let me uh, disconnect it and connect it up. sorry for that one so it will make a clear vision right so <clears throat> now it is asking it is searching I think the internet so let's see if, no it's uh, it, it's trying to connect however it's not connected yet so what you can do mm, I can restart it one more time let's see okay so connect it with the launch pad now it is discovering the services it has been successfully connected if you can see here okay the connected but not bonded okay so here the device information and it has a lot of things here with the device information but we don't need that so we need here a, a custom services right so in a custom services if you subscribe for the notifications and uh, if you press the button here then in the hex value here is a hex value inside hex value you can see the value okay if i press the button that's the 2 and if i leave that button it's one, 0 that's when there is no button pressed button there okay the 2 and now i have pressed the 1 now this is 1 2 1 2 1 2 1 2 all right so apart from that now let me uh, show you how you can control your uh, you know the led so so for that one i think i have to uh, start my camera there so there you can see there is no led okay so there is no led on there now let me on red led okay for so for the red led here is uh, our custom characteristics there you can read there so the hex value is zero but if you write there inside of the uh, uh, this pop-up window inside uh, uh, in byte array write there a zero one okay so if you write there zero one 
okay and then you read there okay so now the x value is coming to the 0 1 so here this one second one is for the red LED and if you read it the x value is 0 and then write there 0 and 1 right and now let me show you here see here the red LED is on okay and the similarly now if you write there byte array and it's 0 0 and then you can see the red LED is off okay perfect so as you can see it's performing fantastically and uh, I think I must stop this video tutorial here I have shown you how to upload your data on IBM Watson IoT platforms and I have also shown you how to control your boards with your Bluetooth applications. So this is all about the getting started with your CC2650 launchpad and uh, you can also do your customized uh, application development either by using a cloud CCS platform or with the desktop version of the CCS or you can also use IAR, IAR uh, uh, IDE. So it's depend on you how you want to explore CC2650 and uh, if you have any queries if you have any problems comment video uh, comment below of this video then i'll try to solve your problem so thank you so much for watching this tutorial and have a nice day bye bye